It's time for the show that engages with people of the combat sports world. And now, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed combat sports show champion of the world, Flash Knockdown! So let's now look at your first amateur MMA fight against Danny Lyons. Yep. At Cage Warriors Northwest Academy 2 in September 2017. You may have been an O and O fighter, but as we've just touched on, you really weren't. Was yep. it difficult finding you the right opponents? Yeah, to be honest, they just threw me forward to Cage Warriors. Um they threw they threw that we, we, we threw my name out there. I said to Cage Warriors, like, let's let's see where we go for that. Like obviously throws a few names. Hammer came out with Danny Lyons. Now, we didn't really have nothing to go on on him, but our very first assumption was he's going to be a grappler. He's going to be someone, obviously, I know Sean, Sean's, Sean's a good fella. I think he obviously must have seen something in the gym, grappling-wise, must have thought Marcus hasn't done no grappling, we're going to get in there, we just get hold of him, and once we have, that's it. But obviously, it's, it wasn't right, obviously, sort of thing, it was a bit of a mismatch. I don't think he Big really time. should have been in there, he shouldn't have been in there with me himself, you know what I mean? But no, big time. That was more like if I get put into a fight that I shouldn't be in, that's not the promoter's fault, that's Gav's fault. You yeah, know what I mean? That, 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 that's who it is. So we both got put in there. I don't think he was ready myself for. He, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. No. Has he fought no. since? No. I think he fought one more time. I think he's one yeah. and one. Yeah. I think he's one and one. So everyone was aware, um, including Sean Hammer Martin, of your. <laughs> mar- yeah, he knew. He knew me. He, he knew. told him. Yeah. He, like, Gav, Gav said to me, "What have you done, Mark?" I said, "I know you're obviously a kickboxer." And I said, "What, what have you won? What have you fought in?" Told him. They got. <laughs> and Sean Sean sure knew me anyway from just generally being in Liverpool. Of course. He's he's only in Heighton down the road. That's like I could, I could be there in ten minutes. So he, <laughs> knew, he, he knew me. So it was just a bit of a mistake on their part, but it happens. You know what I mean? He must have seen something as grappling, but grappling is different to fighting, isn't it? Once all of a sudden you can get punched in the face. Oh. And he just, he just wasn't ready, but... No, he wasn't. And did you feel any pressure to put on a performance, given given that you were a name? I always say no. No. Bit of a liar. Um, ah, you did. I, I, I didn't realise, to be honest. Like, I had a K1 fight years ago. It's on YouTube. I, I can't watch it. Makes Why? me cringe. If a terrible performance. Terrible performance. I just... I didn't realise because me, I'd say with me girlfriend's brother's Thai boxing gym and I came in and obviously Thai boxers are quite basic compared to what karate do, we look flash. But when you're like this, bouncing your knee all the time and it's a good, yeah. it's a good strong sport, there are, there are people, you know what I mean, it's, it's a hard sport to be in. I come in doing hook kicks, spinning kicks, you know, messing around, <laughs> we're, in, we're in the gym so you can do a bit of venting, they see like the most versatile you because there's no real consequences, no one's trying to kill you. Well, I first he did but once you get to know what you there. There was no yeah. real consequences. So I felt like I didn't realise this until, to be honest, probably two years ago. I remember sitting there and going, that was pressure. That was that was pressure on that day. It took me like two years to realise even. But I just didn't put a performance on because I thought people expected so much. You know what I mean? People expected. But that's why I was eventually thankful for my loss, but I'm getting ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So, yeah, you absolutely put on a performance and without being too unfair on your opponents, you were just too quick and too accurate. Shades of Anderson Silva. You got the to, KO. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I believe I haven't been like I am myself in the cage since my first two, three, two fights. I'd wow. say. I'll be talking about that in a bit anyway, but... Um, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the way I was fighting there stand-up-wise anybody would really touch me when, when I'm like, when I've got that movement going on, once you see that stance, that mar- that type of Marcus, there's not many people touching me. Yeah, so not, no. it's not, like Agreed. I say, nothing's put on Danny. Nobody was touching me once I'm like that sort of, once I'm that Marcus. Yeah, no, agreed. And less than two months later, you were competing at uh, ICFC 19 in Manchester against mm-hmm. Kieran Chin, winning via TKO 
in 53 seconds. Right from the off, you were not looking to waste any time. Did you have somewhere to be after? <laughs> Dav Hughes hates this fight in the sense really? of... Um, yeah, in, in the sense of... I came out there, it's like the brush of the head kick calmed me down in the middle of the fight. But um, I was listening to the wrong music in the background and Ice FC, there's a bit of a case in that room, you know. That Tell room, me. It's a, it's, a, it's a good little show, it's boss. Yeah, it but is. That room that you're in fighting, I've never experienced these long waiting days. Right. I've only ever really done tournaments where you turn up, you run around coaching all different people. Yeah, waiting to fight yourself. Do you say section twenty three? You're on in ten yep. minutes, and all of a sudden you just yep. put, shit, put your belt on, run over there. I'm ready. There's no sitting there for the six hours in a room where you can see the cage. You have a window at the top above it. Yeah, yeah. So at you're the top, sitting you there down. watching. Yeah, the watching. Court. You're watching the murder between all the animals going on. You're watching it evolve. You know what I mean? People just having a bit of beef, and you think, yeah, 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 getting hyped, getting hyped. Sitting there listening to the wrong type of music. Getting what are you up, listening getting myself, to? But Jay-Z in Paris. <laughs> just constantly just, just, yeah, just <laughs> bouncing, just, just, <laughs> just couldn't calm <laughs> that. Yeah, <laughs> bouncing around. Gav was just talking to me, so he walked me down. It's like after being four hours of hyping myself, Gav walked me down and he's talking to me. And I'm going fish for that, and just like, like that. And he said, he looked at me and went, you lost, aren't you? He went, calm down. He went, come back to me. I'd come back to me. And so I thought, right, right. didn't realise the room, the environment, the weight. This is, this is all part of me learning, the, like, me graft, me trade, you know what I mean? Um, it got to me without me realising. So I came out all guns blazing. Like, the lab went to yeah. touch my hand. And yeah, I, I sort of, yeah. Didn't, not a purposely meant thing. Right. I, 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 would, I would touch his hand if we went back now and had the experience of being the you case would. time. I would touch his hand. I did not mean to sort of run at him. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I was just excited. Yeah. But and then I went in and I don't perform very well when I'm excited. I'm a relaxed person. I need to be relaxed, taking me shots, taking me time. He threw a head kick that nearly brushed me. I went, all right, Marcus. <laughs> and you sort of see in the fight, I sit down on myself, get my guard right. And then that's when we actually end up getting the finish. Not long after. is after no. he kicked, nearly kicked me in the head. I grab yeah. him, clinch him and throw a few knees. It was just rushed. I was just rushed. And as, as I say, it taught me the weight. You've got to like learn to wait in the back, not get too involved, have the right music on for the right time, relaxing yeah. until an half an hour before, an hour before. Get that exciting music on, build yourself up in the tempo, but experience. Fascinating. You know, some, so, someone could hear that and think, you know what, is that a thing, is it? Especially people who do karate or boxing or yeah. something. Well, boxers are more used to it. But anyone who's my sort of spoke, oh, oh, I haven't thought about that. I, I, I turn up late. I turn up late to most shows. To be honest, I'm, I'm dreading going pro in the form of the docky, don't you? You're not here on time. You're not getting money. I turn up late because I know they're not going to cancel me fights. <laughs> so I'm not. They're not going to cancel not. me on the night. All of a sudden, we've got a lot of fans there. I turn up late. The paramedics see you. I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm running. Three o'clock yeah. start. I'm there at five. Yeah, but just because I hate sitting around it doesn't bother me now as much. You know, I'll take the iPad, sit there, and watch telly. True, oh. true. Bit like the Diaz brothers. Just one more question. You said you got in late on Tuesday night. Was it because of uh, you Ariel? Know, the, yeah, he's here. Okay, just he's just... here. He's here now. All you right. got any questions about the fight? I, yeah, relax. The relaxed approach. Yeah, yeah, good. And uh, three months later, it's time for you to make that walk again. Now. Under the bright lights of Cage Warriors, the biggest mm. MMA promotion in Europe and a card headlined by Molly McCann, who now competes for the UFC. How did you react to the news? Um, I was happy that I was fighting on a big show. I hadn't really yeah. been in somewhere. I've been, I fought in a lot of places with a lot of, a lot of people watching. Being on like Italy with concrete ballads all around us and people like like you see on TV, like sort of TV where it's just like weird layouts but hundreds of people surrounding you watching you. I'm used to that ringing in your ears. I'm, I'm used to it. But it, it was um, good to go, especially in the Echo Arena. It was that, was, that was the main thing. That's where all the big events happen in Liverpool. So there was a little bit of, oh, I'm getting to fight in the Echo. But at the same time, I wasn't really too asked. And on Molly, I didn't actually know Molly was at the time. 
Wow. I don't watch fight. I don't watch fighting. True. <laughs> it's all these days. True. You know, yeah. I know who she is now. I follow, I've got follow her on Instagram and I of course. Know, watch, watch her fight. And vice yeah. versa. Yeah, but I, I did at the time. You could said Molly McCann. To be honest, the only reason I found out who she was properly is because on me, I think it was the Mark Ewan fight. Oh, she went. She went used, yeah, she, she went nuts. She was the woman shouting me, yeah, and she went. She went nuts. This, uh, what did what she call me? A gymnast. Gym, and was, yes. She, she went to the right. classy gymnast. I think. I mean, that's right. Was, she lads went Molly, and I found her. I went. Oh, it's right. Scout three fights now. Cool. Now I'll follow you. You know what I mean? But at the time, you said Molly McCann on the shot. I wouldn't have known. Wow. You know what I mean? There's a lot of you could have said a lot of names. I'll go. Who's that? Lad? Who, who's that? <laughs> you know right. I mean? Okay. Interesting. And once again, Marcus, you were just too much for your opponents, winning via TKO in 27 seconds. So by this fight. Okay. So by this point, Marcus, you're three and zero with a total cage time of less than two minutes, and you haven't even taken a punch. You must have been thinking this MMA game is easy. No, I was disappointed. No, why? No, no, no. I was Twenty-seven dis- seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It is cool, but he sort of folded, didn't he? Yeah, he, just he gave did. up mentally. I, I think he's seeing a spin. He's, he's seeing a spin kick, which we want to come to later again. Snippets ahead, snippets ahead, and that you know what I mean. That's but right. No problem. Seen, I, I with a lot of people who I don't think about any strike like a like major striking capability. You see me often just throw a loose spin and kick. Uh, I did that through a loose spin and kick. I remember I saw it. And then from there, I landed one or two kicks and punches, and he just he gave up mentally. I expected a lot more from him. He, apparently, he's meant to be a bit of a lad. He's about he's about doing things. You know what I mean? He's I, I heard he's doing this, doing that. He's meant to be one of the boys. So I thought he's game. He, he'll have it. You know, when, when we were weighing in, I was like, I shook his hand. He was like, like you know, yeah. when people smile in your face and like trying to get in your head. And I thought, oh, he's, he's game. He fo- fo- mentally folded and sort of ruined the night for me. To be honest, I was looking for I was looking for a fight. I was looking for a fight. You know what I mean? So what was it about the performance you said you wasn't satisfied with? Not the performance. It was sort of the way I never got to put a performance on. You know, right. I got to sort of got warm when okay. I was, didn't get it. I was looking. To, we, we didn't want easy, easy fights. We wanted to we wanted buy fights. We didn't want basically... It wasn't straight away. Obviously, I had no wrestling experience. He wasn't going for ridiculous bloody Russians. <laughs> that he was just going to start double-legging me out and not killing me off and just taking me down. But we wanted someone who was going to push on me to have a little go. Come on the stand okay. up exchange and try and take me down again so I could grow and ex- build myself, but just we just never got it to be, you know what I mean? We expected more than you're just too good. You're just too good, mate. That's that's all it is. So um so by this point, Marcus, you were certainly creating a buzz in the MMA world. Uh, with the likes of Paul Reed selecting you as one of the top amateurs to look out for. Could you sense the extra attention you were getting? No. <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm, I'm very like that. I don't realise that I get attention. I'm very, um, I'm in my own little bubble. I'm in my own world. You know what I mean? I hope that if I ever do get major attention, that I stay in my own little bubble, in my own little world. You know what I mean? I'm just way with the butterflies sometimes, to be honest. I don't, I don't realise. People will tell me something every now and then. They'll be like, lad, I was, I was in the speak the other day on the bus and I was sitting there and I heard these kids talking about you. Yeah? You're saying, have you heard this Marcus Lewis? And, you know, that's just another area by ours. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, bloody hell. And then they said, my mate's saying, like, oh, that was in a house party the other day and some lad started putting fights on and it was you. And I was like, so I know that people are, have got a bit of a buzz and that my name is out there sometimes, but I forget. Not really yeah, it just doesn't sink I, in. I was, no, it doesn't, no, not whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, I understand. 